Med's users and friends. Happy New Year and thanks for joining me today. My name is Carla. I am the Director of Education and Partnerships at Needy Meds. And today, I will teach you how to find healthcare savings resources on the Needy Meds website. But before we get started, I want to go over a few tips so you can make the most out of today's presentation. First of all, you can ask questions at any time by typing them into the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel, but no, I will reserve answering questions until the end. If I don't get a chance to answer your question, I will follow up with you personally via email. I will provide my contact information and the contact information for NeedyMeds as well at the end. This webinar is being recorded and will be available for viewing on our YouTube channel. And a copy of the PowerPoint slide, de slide deck I'm using can be found in the handout section of your control panel. So let's get started with what is NeedyMeds. NeedyMeds is a national nonprofit founded more than two decades ago by retired family physician, Dr. Rich Sagal. Rich is still the president. On the screen is our formal wording of our mission statement, a statement about how we achieve our mission, and our vision statement. But simply put, Needy Meds connects people to programs that will help them afford their healthcare expenses. And we do that free and anonymously through our website, needymeds.org, and our helpline, 1-800-503-6897. And one of the most popular and effective ways we do that is with our listing of prescription assistance programs. Prescription assistance programs are usually supported by pharmaceutical companies and most of the time offer free and some of the time offer deeply discounted prescription drugs, usually name brand, to those that qualify. Of course, not every drug will have a prescription assistance program. When one is available, eligibility requirements and applications will vary from program to program. One common requirement is that the patient healthcare professional usually needs to be involved by providing a prescription, signing the application, and submitting the documentation. So, how can you find prescription assistance programs and other healthcare cost savings resources on the Needy Meds website? Bear with me while I transition out of the PowerPoint and onto our live site so I can demonstrate. What you're looking at now is the Needy Meds homepage. And as you can see, there's a ton of information on our website. And since we're going to spend today's webinar checking out cost savings resources under that patient savings tab, I encourage you to explore our site further when time allows. For now, I just want to point out a few resources that you might be interested in looking further into. First of all, on the top right-hand side with the rest of the social media icons, the third one from the left, is a link to our YouTube channel that I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation. We suggest you subscribe to, sp to stay up to date on the latest videos and webinars. Also, on the left-hand side of our homepage, you will see a box for Be Medwise. Be Medwise is full of accurate and up-to-date patient information and education about the safe use, storage, and disposal of medicines. I also hope you take a moment to check out the Advocates tab. This is where you can sign up for our monthly newsletters or email alerts or to print material, materials and check out our other upcoming webinars. You can also see what other webinars are coming up on the bottom right hand calendar of events. Okay, so let's return to prescription assistance programs. Now you can always begin your search for savings programs for medication by typing the name of the drug into the drug search bar on the top left side where my cursor is blinking. If you are specifically looking for prescription assistance programs, click on that patient savings tab. And as you can see, a whole bunch of categories pop up, and these are all the different ways that you can, find, so you can search to save on your healthcare expenses. You'll notice on the top left-hand side is a box dedicated to prescription assistance programs. And as you can see, you can search a number of ways. You can search probably by the least common company and program name, but you can also search by the name of the drug. So let's say we're looking for a name brand drug called Eliquis. I will go ahead and click on that hyperlink for name brand, brand name drugs. 
And you'll notice the first thing that happens is a bunch of icons pop up. What these icons do is they show you what type of information is available for their drug. Is there a savings program available, such as a prescription assistance program or a coupon? Is there more information available about the medication through support pages or drug videos? You'll also notice the convenient A to Z index. Many of our large sections on our website have this A to Z index to keep your search easy. So let's return again to our search for Eloquis. I will choose E in the A to Z index, and then I'll scroll down to see if Eloquis pops up. When you do find the medication, click on it. And if Eloquis happened to be listed more than once, you would click on every hyperlink that Eloquist was available to make sure you weren't missing any programs or information about that medication. I'm going to go ahead and click on that hyperlink, and there are those icons again. There's some more information about the drug available, such as through drug videos and support pages, and the icon on the left indicates that there is at least one prescription assistance program available. When I go ahead and click on that, that prescription assistance program pops up. If there was, there's currently only one prescription assistance program available. If there was more than one in this blue bar, you would see if there was more than one. For example, it would say program one of two or program one of three. And if there was more than one prescription assistance program available, the ones that offer the most assistance will be listed at the top and the less assistance will be listed at the, at the bottom. I'm going to make the screen a bit smaller. Don't worry about being able to read the font. I just wanted you to get a quick glance at what the prescription assistance program page looks like. So let's talk about the information on the screen right now. Importantly, at the top, you'll always find the name of the supporting organization and their contact information. And that's really important because you're going to want to be sure to direct all questions about the program to the contact information provided as opposed to needy meds. Next is the application section where you can usually find a link to the application itself, like right here. If the application wasn't available, there would be further instructions. Under that is the medication section, and this is where you will find all the medications and formulations covered by this program. Each program, really importantly, also lists an eligibility section. As I had said in the beginning, although eligibility will vary from program to program, it's almost always based on three factors, insurance coverage, income, and residency. So let's talk about insurance status. Oftentimes, to be eligible for a prescription assistance program, you cannot have drug coverage or insurance coverage. But that's not always the case. So if you are looking for a prescription assistance program, but you or someone you're trying to assist does have drug coverage or insurance, it's worth checking out anyway, because some programs will provide assistance regardless of insurance coverage. Let's talk about income. Now, income is often based on a certain multiple of the federal poverty guidelines. And because that's so common, we put a handy Federal Poverty Guidelines Income Calculator right here. So let, let me show you how easy it is to work. Let's say we have an individual, and you can see I use this example often, that makes $47,500 a year. You'll notice I only typed in the numbers. Don't type in periods, commas, or dollar signs. Again, this is this individual's yearly salary, and let's say he's supporting a family of three. That's all the information you would need. You simply hit calculate, and the results indicate that this individual's yearly income is 222% of the federal poverty level guidelines. When we return to the eligibility requirements section, you can see that the individual clearly qualifies, which is great. But what happens if that wasn't the case? Maybe this individual found himself at just above the eligibility requirements at 305 or 310 percent. Well, when that happens, we recommend that you apply anyway and ask the program to make what's called an economic hardship exception. If you are still denied, if you are denied at that point, you can, you can always appeal. So 
let's talk about residency. Uh, again, like the insurance status requirement, don't make the wrong assumption that if you are helping an individual or family that is undocumented, that they automatically won't qualify. It's worth checking out. And you will find the specific requirements for US residency detailed in this eligibility requirements section. And if you have further questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the phone number that's provided at the top of the screen to the program that's supporting, to, to the company that's supporting this program. Also, do be mindful of the application section. This is where you will find information about if and how the doctor needs to be involved, for example, as well as how soon you can expect a decision after the application has been submitted. The medication section, which you'll see next, is also important because this lets you know where the meds will be mailed to, for example, and the details for reapplying. Always check out the additional information section because that is where we'll, we will put other important information that doesn't fall neatly into the other categories. Now, before I move on from prescription assistance programs, I will remind you that if you have any questions, you can type them into me in that question section of your control panel. And I also want to point out under this patient savings tab, you will see a hyperlink for help with prescription assistance applications. Now, applications for prescription assistance programs can be complicated, so we've put together a directory that lists nonprofits that will help people apply to prescription assistance programs for usually for free or sometimes for a very small fee. So if you need help filling out that application, you can search for help in your area by zip code or state. So let's move on, returning to that patient savings tab, and in the top left corner still, I'd like to point out our $4 generic discount drug program. This is a directory of all of the discount programs available for generic medications at major re retailers. Now, although it's called the $4 generic discount drug program, most will range in price from four to up to $15 for 30, 60, or 90 day supply. And as you'll start to see as we make our way through this presentation, there's a number of ways you can search. You can search specifically for a certain type of drug. You can search for a participating store or pharmacy. Or you can do a broad search to see what's available for in your state. So I'm going to do a broad state search. Let's see what's available in Arizona. And the results yield that there are currently four stores or pharmacies participating in the $4 generic discount drug program in the state of Arizona. And all of the pertinent information now is on your screen, including the name of the participating pharmacy or store, and a hyperlink if one is available, the program name, and importantly, the far right column labeled program will let you know exactly what this program will help you save on. As I said, although it's called the $4 generic discount drug program, most will usually range in price between four to up to $15 for a 30, 60, or 90 day supply. Returning again to that patient savings tab, I'd like to point out another really popular destination on needymeds.org, which is our free low cost and sliding scale clinic database. I'm proud to let you know that at the beginning of 2019, we actually split this database up into four sections to make our users' search searches easier. So now you can find medical clinics, dental clinics, mental health clinics, and substance addiction clinics. They are all set up exactly the same way. So for the purposes of demonstration, I'm going to click on medical clinics. But again, just know they're all set up the same way. As you can see, this is a pretty large section of our website. There are just under 17,000 free, low cost and sliding scale clinics including, included in this section. And you can search pretty narrowly to see what's available where you live based on your street address. You can do a zip code search or you can search really broadly to see what's available in your state.
because this section is so large, I'm going to do a relatively narrow zip code search. So let's see what's available in not zip code 94974. And let's say the individual searching has access to transportation. So let's do a five mile search within that zip code. That's all the information you would need. You click search. And as you can see, the results yield that there are nine clinics in the 94974 zip code. And if you scroll down, hopefully you'll agree that all the pertinent information is on your screen, including the name of the clinic, the contact information, and a website if it's available, the eligibility, meaning who can be seen at the clinic, and what fee can they expect to incur. And the far right-hand column labeled details will let you know details about that clinic, including what services they provide. Although we provide, we pride ourselves on the information on our website being accurate and up-to-date, we always recommend visiting the website or giving the clinic a call before heading there to confirm important details, such as what fee can you, your client, or your loved one expect to incur? Are there staff there that speak another language? And what are the actual hours of operation? Now, let's say you wanted to print this list to share it with a client or a loved one. You can choose that print all option, or you can choose only the clinics you're interested in by putting a check mark in the box on the left-hand column. And then you can choose the print instead of the print all option. And that will generate and print a list including only the ones you choose. And again, that's a great tool if this list is something you'd like to share with someone. Now, another important database under the Patient Savings tab, on the bottom left-hand side, you'll see a section for coupons, rebates, and more. And this is where you can find prescriptions. Excuse me, this is where you can find prescriptions and over-the-counter medications or supplies for which there is a discount, a in the version in the form of a coupon, a rebate, a savings card, a trial offer, or a free sample, for example. Just like our other databases, there's a number of ways you can search. You can search by the brand name of the drug, by the product name, but you can also search by category, which means medical category. I'm going to go ahead and click on that so you can see the list the alphabetized long list of medical categories where you can do a search to see if there is a coupon or a rebate available. So let's go ahead and click on asthma so you can see what the results will yield. And you'll notice when I clicked on that hyperlink, it took me to a page where those hyperlink icons popped up. This section is really helpful because it'll let you know if there's other cost savings program avail programs av available such as prescription assistance programs, and whether there's more information about that medication or product, such as through support pages or drug videos. This is another section of our website that we updated in the beginning of last year. It used to just be a paragraph of information, but from user feedback, we learned that that was difficult to read. So instead, we now have just a brief couple of sentences about this cost savings program and then a bullet pointed list about the most important information. You'll always find a hyperlink to the manufacturer's offer. And something we hope you'll find really helpful is that right from this page, you can print out, print out or have us email or text you the Needy Meds drug discount card. And of course, we'll talk about that a little bit later so you can learn how the drug discount card is another tool to save on your healthcare expenses. And underneath the program, you will also find those hyperlinks. For example, here there is further information about this drug. This icon will take you to the drugs.com page to provide more information. The center icon indicates that there is a drug video, and the icon on the left indicates that there are support pages available to find more information about this particular medication. I am getting a question, which is a great question from an audience member, as whether or not we will see um, a demonstration on the application. And I believe the question is referring to this coupons and rebates section. 
Um, I'm not going to do a demonstration because they vary so greatly. What I will say is that always click on that manufacturer's offer and it will walk you through what you need to do to obtain this discount. Maybe it's an application you need to submit or maybe it's simply a coupon you need to print out, but it will vary from coupon to coupon, from rebate to rebate. But thanks so much for sub submitting the question. And to the rest of our audience, don't forget you could do that by, by typing in your question into that question section of your control panel. So hopefully at this point, you're starting to see that the different sections on needymeds.com are all similar, and that's purposeful. We wanna make the website as easy to navigate as possible so you and your clients can find what is needed within a few clicks of your mouse. That being said, however, don't hesitate to reach out to us yourself or pass along our call center number, which again is 1-800-503-6897. Our counselors are here to help, and we do have Spanish-speaking counselors as well. Now, returning to that patient savings tab, aside from the prescription assistance program section, the second greatest source of savings is through our diagnosis-based assistance programs. These programs provide financial assistance for costs associated with a particular diagnosis. Now, this section is different because for the most part, it does not include medicine. What it does include instead are other necessary medical expenses. For example, maybe you need medical supplies, medical equipment, or help affording things like testing supplies or wigs or house cleaning services or assistive technology. In this section of our database, you can search a number of ways. You can search by the least com common program name, for example. You can search what's available in your state or nationwide. Nationwide meaning, regardless of where you live in our country, you will be eligible to apply. But like the coupons and rebates section, you can also search by diagnosis. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that hyperlink. And because this section is so broad, you will find that A to Z index again. I'm going to go ahead and click on D for diabetes. And I'd like to use that as an example because not only is it such a common diagnosis in our country, but it's a great example of a diagnosis that requires a lot of expense in addition to medication. Often diabetics need help affording things like testing strips or syringes. Because diabetes is such a broad category, it's broken down into a bunch of subcategories, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to click on the diabetes link. And the results indicate that there are currently 73 diagnosis-based assistance programs available for this diagnosis. Like the other databases, hopefully you'll agree that all of the most important information is on your screen now, including the name of the program and a hyperlink the summary about what the program provides, and probably the two most important columns are on the far right, the services that this program provides and the areas of service. Now, the areas of service mean where do you have to reside to be eligible? And you'll notice these all say national. That's because we put all of the national programs at the top because regardless of where you live in, a country, in our country, you are eligible to apply. And then as you'll scroll down, you'll see the programs listed alphabetically by state. You'll also notice that the services provided varies greatly. Oftentimes they will help with things such as medical supplies or medical technology. But you can see it varies. This program, for, for example, helps with respite care, and these programs will help get someone diagnosed with, this di diagnosed with diabetes to get access to a service animal. So please do check out this section. And since we're on the topic of finding diagnosis-based assistance programs, I wanna return to that patient savings tab and point out our diagnosis information pages. I'm not going to spend tons of time here. I just wanna make sure you're aware that these pages exist. These pages are educational pages provided to, uh, to offer up-to-date, accurate, and comprehensive information about a particular diagnosis. And I will say these pages are particularly helpful for someone that has been newly diagnosed. So under that patient savings tab, 
you will see we also have other sections dedicated specifically to medical transportation, for example, because often getting to and from a doctor's office or healthcare facility be, can be burdensome. We also have sections dedicated specifically to retreats, camps, recreational programs, and educational scholarships. And I'd also like to point out our government program section. This includes state-sponsored programs, as well as pretty exhaustive, exhaustive Medicare and Medicaid information. So it's worth checking out. Now, if you bear with me, I'd like to switch back to our PowerPoint presentation so I can talk to you about another important way to save, which is with the Needy Meds drug discount card. And before I do that, what you're looking at now is just a, a snapshot of a list of all of the healthcare savings sections under that patient savings tab. And again, you can find a copy of this PowerPoint slide deck in the handout section of your control panel. So let's talk about the Needy Meds drug discount card. I'm sure you're aware that there are many other drug discount cards out there. Drug discount cards are plastic cards, sometimes they're an app, sometimes they're a paper card that you match up with your prescription and take to the pharmacist to attempt to save on your medical expenses. And we do offer our own Needy Meds drug discount card. And as I said, I'm sure that you're, you're aware that there are other cards out there, but the Needy Meds drug discount card differs because it is free and anonymous. We do not track your personal data, so confidentiality is guaranteed. And with the Needy Meds drug discount card, there is no registration, no enrollment, no residency requirements, and no activation. And it is accepted at more than 65,000 pharmacies nationwide. You can use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save up to 80% off the cash price of prescription medications. You can also save on over-the-counter medications and supplies written as prescriptions. And you can even save on human equivalent pet meds if they're purchased at a regular pharmacy. You can now also use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save 40% off medical equipment. So the big question is, who can use this card? And the simple answer is anyone. If you don't have the only rule is that it can't be combined with insurance. So if you don't have insurance or drug coverage, you can use the card anytime. If you do have insurance or drug coverage, you may choose to use the card instead, for example, if you find your medication isn't covered, maybe you're in a coverage gap, maybe you have a high copayment, maybe you have a high deductible, or maybe you've exceeded a cap for drug coverage for the year. So let's return to the website so I can show you how to get your drug discount card and the tools for maximizing savings. So let's return to the Needy Meds website. As you would probably guess, there's a number of destinations on needymeds.org where you can click on that will take you to get your own drug discount card. For example, if you click on patient savings, you'll see a link to it on the top left as well as the bottom right. But right on the home page on the left-hand side, you'll see a box with a big red arrow that says get your Needy Meds drug discount card. And all of those hyperlinks will take you to this page where you can print out a downloadable PDF. You can fill out the form, being sure to choose a design. You can mail us a self-addressed stamped envelope, or you can always give our call center counselors a call at one 800 503 Six, eight, nine, seven. At the bottom of this drug discount card page, you will also find the pharmacy search. And this is exactly what it sounds like. This is where you can find pharmacies in your area that do accept the Needy Meds drug discount card. You can search really narrowly by your home address, for example, or you could do a more broad search to see what's available in your zip code. So I'm going to type in the zip code of 80906. And again, let's say this individual has transportation. So we're going to do a five mile radius. And the results yield that there are 27 pharmacies within five miles of that zip code. And all of the pertinent information is on your screen, including the name of the participating pharmacy, 
their address as well as their phone number. And what's really helpful is there's also a map to tell you exactly where their participating store or pharmacy is located in case you're unsure. And you can also, like the clinics database, print out this list by clicking the print all option if you'd like to share it with others. So now let's say you have your drug discount card, you know what pharmacies in your area accept it, the next step is finding out how much will the drug cost you using the drug discount card. For that, you will go to the drug pricing calculator on the top left side. To find out what your medication will cost you, you will need to know the pharmacy zip code where you would like to pick up your prescription, you will need to know the prescription name, the dosage, and the day supply, meaning, for example, is the prescription for 30, 60, or 90 days. So with the pharmacy tracker and the drug calculator, you'll be able to find out where to pick up your medication and what you will be paying before you head out the door. Of course, I'd like to stress that if you don't have access to the internet, our call center counselors can find out this information for you. I also want to point out on the left-hand side, you'll see a hyperlink for Health Storylines. Health Storylines is a free self-care app that makes it easy for you to track and manage not only your health conditions, but the health conditions of a loved one. It also allows you access to the Needy Meds drug discount card and other informational resources or assistance programs right at your fingertips. And you can download this for free from Google Play or the iTunes App Store. I'm going to transfer back to the PowerPoint, and as I do, I want to remind you that you can ask any questions you may have by typing in to the questions section of your GoToWebinar control panel. And as you're thinking of questions to submit to me, I want to share with you some of our other upcoming webinars later this month. If you do see a webinar you are interested in, you can register and learn more about that webinar, again, on the calendar of events, which is in the bottom right-hand side. And you'll see, actually, later this month, we do have a webinar, and it'll be a brief webinar, I think it's about 20 minutes, scheduled specifically to talk to you about Health Storylines, which, again, is that free self-care app that comes with the Needy Meds drug discount card preloaded into it. And that app will help you to track and manage your health conditions. So as promised, as I get to those questions, I want to leave the contact information for Needy Meds up. I did put my colleague Alana's contact information up there. If you are interested in ordering a bulk supply of our drug discount cards or educational materials, please shoot Alana an email. And if you have any questions regarding this webinar, don't hesitate to get in touch with me at carla at needymed.org, or you can go ahead and submit a question to me via that question section. So I have a specific question coming in regarding individuals with Medicare and assistance affording dentures or denture services, and whether or not we offer any links to stuff to um, possibly discount denture services, for example. So here's a here's my two suggestions for that: is you can always go to the coupon section and check it out by diagnosis or need. You can also go to the diagnosis-based assistance program section and again search by medical category. But you can always reach out to our call center counselor and that number counselors and that number on our screen at that number on the screen, which is 1-800-503-6897. And the reason I really like to direct people there is because oftentimes they can come up with a creative solution with how to afford your healthcare expenses. And sometimes they will also provide relief for financial burden for other expenses, maybe freeing up the fees you need to afford some of the more expensive ones on your healthcare expense list. So please don't hesitate to reach out to get them. Again, we do have Spanish-speaking counselors, and a reminder that we are open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., but we are in Massachusetts on East Coast time. I hope that, that answers the question. 
Another question coming in is that we, I mentioned that we use the drug discount card to save on pet medications. How? So we put together a less than 10 minute video on how to use the Needy Meds drug discount card to save on your pet meds. You can go to our YouTube channel. And again, you can find a hyperlink to that on the top right of our homepage with the rest of the social media icons. I believe it's the third one from the left. And you can type the word pets into the search bar. Of course, you have trouble finding, it, finding that video. You can email me and I will happy, be happy to send you a link. So here's another question coming in about whether or not individuals with Medicare Part D can apply to prescription assistance programs. So here's the thing, it depends on the program. Some will let you apply, others will determine that on a case-by-case -case basis, but the good news is you will see the answer to that question in the eligibility section of the prescription assistance program listing on our website. Oh, and I think I did just answer that. Um, the, I'm getting a question about what time the Needy Meds call center is open. And again, we're open from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. But don't forget, we're in Massachusetts, so that's on East Coast time. Oh, I'm so pleased to see that we also have a question about Needy Meds brochures and whether there is a fee. That gives me the opportunity to say something that we are really proud of, which is that all of the information that we provide is free, meaning you can gain access to our website for free. You can search our website as long as you need to, looking for cost savings programs, and all of that is free. And you can reach out to our call center counselor for free. Not only is all of that free, but it's anonymous. You do not need to register, sign up, and even when you're speaking with our call center counselors, you do not need to provide any information. Our drug discount cards are free. And of course, all of our educational brochures and materials are free. We are happy to send you five or 5,000. It doesn't do us any good having our educational brochures sitting on the shelf here at the Needy Meds headquarters. So don't hesitate to reach out if you, are, you think there's people that would be interested in learning more about Needy Meds. It would be our pleasure to ship that out. And again, a stress to, to stress, to have the opportunity to stress that everything we do here and all of the information we provide is free free. So thank you for the question and thank you for the opportunity to share that. And I do have another question coming in about that pet video. And again, if you can't find it in our YouTube, on our YouTube channel by typing the word pets into the Needy Meds YouTube channel, you can shoot me an email and I'll be happy to send it to you. And the great news is you will get to see a picture of my puppy, Benjamin who's super cute. So with that, I think we're going to go ahead. I don't see any question, other questions coming in. We're going to go ahead and wrap up today's presentation. I do want to take the time to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to learn a little bit more about what we do and the healthcare savings resources we provide. We do hope to see your name pop up in future webinars. With that, thanks again. Happy New Year and enjoy the rest of your day.